the Lord corrected me raising our kids because when we were very tight in finances early on, I'd say, no. Kids would say, can we hit? No. Even if they looked at me, I would say no. Because <laughs> I knew what was coming. <laughs> and the Lord had to stop me one day. He goes, why are you saying that? He said, why don't you say yes? And so I began to say yes. I had to start training myself to say yes. So basically, we live, most people live in self-inflicted prison walls of mediocrity. Mm, Yeah, it's true. But this is the year to break out of that. Because you'll never get there without changing your whole perspective. Now, a lot of you know the story, but I need to repeat this because I believe it applies to this. As you know, we started our business back... um, we first got married. We've been in financial services since before we were married. Uh, 40 years now, I've been involved in financial services. And so we, we started our own company. Uh, I won't go through all the long, long story of being in debt and God showing us uh, how the kingdom and then creating our businesses and creating wealth and all. We learned a lot, learned a lot, learned a lot. But before we started to pastor, Uh, as we learned how the kingdom operated, our business became the number one office out of 5,000 offices. And we had 300 reps all across the United States. So pretty incredible story, right? But when God called us to pastor, I knew that this was going to take my energy. I mean, everything kind of slowed down. I, I stopped hiring outside the state of Ohio. We began to readjust our business because we just couldn't, I, I couldn't be involved with it. But we, we, it kept going. I even asked the Lord, should I stop the business? But he said, no, don't stop your business. But we had to readjust, you know, or did we? Hmm, good question. Anyway, I've told this before, but we use various vendors in our business. And one of the vendors had annual conventions where if you did a certain amount of production, you would get to go, they would pay your way to this convention. It was the annual convention. They'd have their... Uh, the top 10 or the top people up on platform, and they'd get, they'd get $100,000 worth of bonuses. And it was amazing that $100,000 worth of bonuses, I never, well, for 14 years, I did about $4 million worth of production. Since we started Pastor, we were doing about $4 million of production with this one company. Now, it took about $10 million to qualify. It took $10 million of production to qualify for, the, for their, their, their top 10 with the $100,000 bonus check. I, it's strange. I never thought of being in the top 10. I was content in watching because I thought I couldn't do it because I was pastoring. I was busy. So I never had the thought to ask someone how I could do it. I never had the thought to say, okay, I, that's, I need to be there. What do I need to change to get there? I never had the thought because my no training was kicking in that I was content to sit by and clap and cheer those that did it when, don't you know, I would have loved to have the $100,000 bonus check. Hmm? And so many of us are like that. So many of us are like that. Until the day after 14 years, the Lord spoke to me in that meeting while they were up there and we were clapping. He said, why aren't you up there? Why aren't you up there? I want you up there. He said, I want people to see my greatness in you. And I thought, (laughs) why, why, why? Well, first off, I don't know how to do that because how am I going to jump up to 14 years of doing around 4 million and jumping up to over 10? And this is already March. I don't know how to do that. I mean, obviously I'm maxed. I mean, we're busy, right? I mean, we're busy. Daily television, church, family, a lot. I mean, we're busy. And, uh, but he, he said, why aren't you up there? So during the night, sowed our seed and said, you've got to show us how to do that. And he gave me a dream. And of course I've taught this before, but he said, Seize the moment. And I knew what it meant when he said it, seize the moment. I had to change how I thought about how I handled the business. Now, we did not change any marketing, zero. Did no, no additional marketing at all. But 
we became more intentional. When people called, we were very quick. We changed our processes. Everyone say, change our processes. Yeah, say it again. Change your processes. Yeah, if you've studied the laws I've taught the uh, of acceleration, once your capacity is capped, you're done. You have to change your processes. So we had to change our processes, which meant that we'd have to react quickly, intentionally, and we changed our policy. That anyone, of course, we handle a lot of investments, insurance work, we're dealing with clients, and we made a rule, a policy for the whole company that if you're going to invest money with us, we're going to have a face-to-face -face meeting, not a phone call, and we are in every, every state. So you can imagine how this changed how we did business. If someone called and they were going to, we had a minimum, if they were talking about investing over $50,000, we demanded, we had, we will not, we had to have a face-to-face -face meeting with them. So we had jets flying out. People, I mean, commercial, we, our reps would take off, you know? I would take off. So if someone called from California and said, hey, I want to talk about investing. I don't care if they, I mean, we wanted them to meet us where they, no one's going to invest a million dollars over the phone, right? So we made a policy that we would meet them in person as fast as we could get there. And that began to change a lot of things. Because we would, and of course, all, they didn't always use us as a company, but we at least had the chance to present our side of the story and to, to meet them as a person, that they would, they would meet us. So we changed that, and so we made it. And that year, we did over $10 million. Incredible. I can't even put into words how that felt. We got the $100,000 in bonuses and a trip to Bora Bora. We took our entire family, our office staff, and uh, that was absolutely life-changing, life-changing, life-changing. And we made, that, we made that, uh, that a level six years after that, every year after that. Wait a minute, so 14 years, you did four million, you missed it, and you got to clap and watch everyone do it, and then all of a sudden you changed something, you did it every year after that? Yep. Don't you know I could have done it a lot earlier, right? You're right. The second year we made it, they raised it to over 12 million. Of course, now this is one vendor, so it raised our production in every area of our company. And that trip was to Budapest, Hungary. That was an amazing city. And uh, so we go up on stage, you know, we get to, they recognize this. Now, some of the guys that had been there for several years, of course, who knew who we were, we had lunch there uh, with them, some of the reps, and the, the guest speaker at that convention who was a marketing expert was sitting at our table with us. So the rep asked me, oh, Gary, how did you jump from 4 million to over 10 million over, over 12? How did you do that? What, tell me how you did it. And so I just said, well, let me tell you about the kingdom of God. Let me tell you about being intentional. Let me tell you what God showed us. And of course they're waiting for the, you know, well, I did this marketing campaign, I did that, whatever. But uh, I began to tell him, and this marketing person was sitting there and she was asking questions. Well, that night we had a cruise on the Danube River at night, it's gorgeous. And as I was walking on the deck, the marketing, that marketing expert that was the guest speaker at the conference was talking to a group of people. And I heard her say this, she said, I heard the most amazing story today at lunch, how this guy went from $4 million to over $10 million and she was going on and on about this. And she was, oh, there he is right there. And she brought me in the conversation. She said, I like the word, this amazing story. How many like amazing? Yes. Yeah, it caught the expert's attention, man. I'll tell you, God wants to do amazing things with you, right? That's so awesome. But why was I so content to be a bystander when I had the same opportunity as all the others? Because I'd already said no to that. I was content with not making it. I thought I had a good excuse. I was busy, right? Never entertaining the thought that I could do it or figure out how to get it done.